feeding down. We feel beat right now, coming out of a five-day weekend. It's I know I do. Coffee. Yeah, I have my vegan yogurt. <laughs> Yolo starts the week. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, these health fanatics. But um, Yana is here to fight me. Yana is here to fight me. Hi. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> Yana, who's going to pay to watch Yana and me fight? Uh, I hope nobody. That's just not. <laughs> no, we are against violence here. Please, yeah. please. But if this, this would be a controlled arena because it was meant like a theater arena. There's a. They do these fights quite regularly. Okay, well, tune in for a fight between Yana and Do you want to do you want to come in here? We just need to because because like I think Yana has it in power, but Simran has it in scrappiness. What? <laughs> in the left corner. I have I'll claws. Win. I have claws. Okay, Yana. Take you. Yeah. Hi. Simran. Okay, let's vote. Who's gonna win? I have Who nails. Who would you pay to see in a fight? Mario. I have nails. Who, who would you win? Uh, who, who do you think? Who do you think would win? Who do you think would win? With no offense to both of you. When you when you when you start a sentence with no offense to both of you, expect yeah. offense. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. I feel it's like it's gonna be bad. <laughs> but, but I'm gonna vote uh, Yana. <gasps> sorry, 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 sorry. Next time. Next time. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> I I'm, I'm, I'm gonna me. go with Simran. She's going to she's going to be on the ground like scrapping you out or something. I just think that she's got you. I really do. Oh my god, anyway. Casey, you're the real one. <laughs> the no one likes oh. to marry. Oh, those are just heels. We are the same height. No, I'm a little bit taller. Than okay, whatever. And you're moving on. Um, if you would like to uh, see the Simran Yana fight, um, <laughs> if more than 1,000 of you um, <laughs> say that you're interested, we'll make it happen. So please. <laughs> We will. I'm down. Give us something to do yeah. this summer. Yeah. <laughs> She doesn't know what's coming, but. It will be the event of the summer <laughs> coinciding with the Expo. next. No, long. no, coinciding with the next long weekend. Yes, yes, yes. So UAE residents to enjoy a six-day long weekend in 10 weeks. Now, the first thing. <laughs> Did anyone just hear that title? Can you please? I love the optimism. Okay. UAE residents to enjoy a six-day long weekend in 10 weeks. <laughs> you know, I saw the date and I'm like, how many weeks to this? I counted myself. 10 weeks. 10 weeks. I have big plans. What's traveling again <laughs> never <laughs> two and a half months 10 weeks okay i'm done with that it's two sunday we're weeks. excited months yeah. yeah we have all of july we have a little bit of may we have june not july like it's mid-july but anyway the first thing mm-hmm. that we all think of as we come out of a long weekend is when is the next long weekend 100 yeah i was googling it when, what were you googling when is the next long weekend were you well i have the answer for you casey it's 10 weeks <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's been 10 <laughs> weeks. <told us. laughs> so, as UAE peeps can expect a six day long weekend after 10 weeks around Monday, July 19th, on the occasion of Eid al Adha. But the dates, once again, will be subject to moon sighting. But if the dates go as per prediction, then private and public employees could get to enjoy three days off plus the two day weekend. So, that's basically July 19th until July 24th. And um, like I'm thrilled, I'm counting the days. Hmm. Is that 10 weeks away? It is, I counted. Or maybe I counted wrong. That's, you know, I love that because um, I was speaking to a teacher and last night and he was saying, I don't mind going back to work so much. It's the last term and I'm off on the first of July. Yeah. And But actually that break is going to break up the summer quite nicely. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. But you know the funny thing about holidays, no matter how many, how much you get of it, it's just never enough. Like it could be a three day long weekend, it could be two weeks off, three weeks off. It's just like when you come back and say, like, oh, did it did it just end so fast? Where did the time go? 100% holidays are never long enough, however. however. And I just got, and I'm the person that wakes up early, I just got into waking up late. So like yesterday morning I slept until 11, now I have to get up early. But I've just gotten into it. However, I do like a routine. I mean, yeah. I do like... Like, I would never go to the gym on holidays. I do like routine. having a routine and just like living yeah. a bit of a normal life. Like, a, I live my best life for 12 days. I couldn't do that forever unless I was loaded. Okay, But. so I was gonna just 
bring up a petition for a one year long paid leave but i don't think you would sign that it's only because because i used to be a teacher and teachers if you're watching coming back to work after three months that they will that they're like three months is amazing coming back to work is the biggest low for me <laughs> it was the biggest low because you'd have to you have to prepare yourself and then and then if you have three months with no routine maybe if you have families it's different but like three months where you're traveling and everything and then coming back into work is very tricky so it's such a high to low i'd rather just like a and then get those sudden highs of six days P- off petition and then... petition to work every day oh my god Casey, what do you say no no listen no listen no listen she didn't say this she's just kidding just kidding I'm I'm just joking. it could be a thing Sarah, if it's all jokes people here. want to make it happen no one wants to make it happen you work like for five six seven eight nine days in a row right Yeah. yeah, like how miserable are you? <laughs> Tell us. <laughs> There's no, we don't have a tradition for working every day. It was hard, but like I'm so excited for today to end. Yeah. <laughs> no, well, what that? Would you rather? Yeah. But I agree with you, by the way. The routine is. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Like, you know. Yeah. Yes. Once, like, for example, when COVID routine. hit and students stayed home, a lot of them actually went, like, you know, through. mental changes because of mm-hmm. the, the breaking of the routine mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. once they were back on campus even in, for example my university once they were back on campus they were more excited because to learn because yeah. they were like okay we're back to that routine yeah so i think i think like humans are you know we love routine but we just don't admit it yeah you don't of course we don't yeah. admit it and like of course you're on your holiday i would never like wish oh i was i wish i was at work like, no. right now obviously not but i just <laughs> but a quick question before we end would you like a full year yeah oh no But you know, I just remember the first year off. Like, if you're asking off? me, a full year off. Yeah, obviously. Because paid, then I can year go. off, paid, right? Obviously paid. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. But like, if you no, think no. about it, you can create a routine without work. However, if work is there, you cannot have a life. Yeah, exactly. exactly. But if you're off for a short amount of time, yeah. you're obviously not going to make that routine. But if I was off all of the time, I'm sure I would live a more normal yeah. life. But when you're just off for 12 days, I'm like, mm-hmm. I'm going to do this. I'm gonna live my very best yeah. life and make a use of every second. Not gonna work a single minute. Yeah. <laughs> no. But I completely agree with you because I read, I think it's in the Bible. I don't know. A, an idle mind is a devil's workshop. So I think a routine is needed. Not wanted, but needed. Yeah, I agree. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> We all agree. We'll also all take that year off with pay. Yes. <laughs>